Let me paint you a picture of where I'm at in my life right now. My bed's covered in literal trash. I put my hair up because it's all greasy because I didn't shower today because I didn't shower today. I can't seem to go a single day without some kind of identity crisis and I'm exhausted. So I thought, you know what? What about just a review? Just a normal review of a game. I, when, I don't actually know when I last did something like that on my channel. I think maybe it was the shelter video from like, like this one. I thought a short straightforward review was what I needed to get my channel back on track. And it turns out that I can't write a review, or at least I, I don't want to. I had the perfect opportunity. This guy, Owen Dennis, he's an iOS developer, he emailed me about his game, Vectradius. Now that's exciting for me because I don't get those emails very often and also because he's actually a storyboarder and regular show. Jazzed. I am jazzed about this right now. But things got complicated with my scripts. It had to change multiple times. And I can't not talk about how it got complicated. The game looked derivative. I was not excited. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying... <clears throat> I'm just saying that there were some red flags that popped up, like it looked similar to Super Hexagon because it's radial movement, and I was afraid that it would be one of those, um, you know when like arcade uh, inspired iOS games are like really, really cutesy and forward about their arcade influence, like tonally? Like tongue in cheek, like arcade is hard to do. So when I downloaded it, my expectations were not high. And luckily, it turns out that I'm a judgmental prick. Here's where things get complicated, right? So I looked at the game, assumed I knew everything about how it's played, because of course I did. I saw that the things you do in the game are tilting left and right, so I'm like, okay, you tilt left and tilt right in this game, maybe some swiping. But here's what playing the game actually looks like. It's uh... A little more complicated than I may have given it credit for. Didn't even make it up there with uh, dad and dog. So I was really impressed. At this point, the script was like, my god, I've never been asked to relate to a game controller in this way before. I've never had to be so aware of my body's physical location and position in relation to a game controller. It's it's amazing. And I, I tend to associate with like arcade style games with um, a very different design philosophy that stresses bodily dissociation. Like, you know, as little mediation as possible between your thoughts and your inputs and the movements on screen, right? Like, just zoning out. Victradius does not care about any of that. It, it, it has this radical embodiment to it that's really different, and I was, I was really excited about it, and I was so, like, pleasantly surprised. Okay, the lighting keeps changing because I decided to film this at 8 p.m. I've kind of given up on professionalism at this point. I hope that's obvious. So my, my argument in my original script, my thesis basically, was that when you play Victradius, you feel like an actor in an 80s movie trying to pretend to play a fake video game that doesn't exist, and you're doing a really bad job. And that's real good. That's something you want in your game. And I almost beat Mega Turtle at the end of level three. But slow down there, because I got another email from from the dev. Uh, and apparently there's going to be like an update for like control issues. People are having problems with, with the game's controls. And I think, oh my god, I have to like fundamentally change the script. This is an entirely separate issue now. It's going to be about, about accessibility. Coming on to Uncharted, we had a lot of a, a big push for including more accessibility features. So we have an option now you can set so that you can hold down the button and it acts as if you're pressing the button continuously. And that was the second script. And that was what I was sticking to and I'm like, this is still good. Still an interesting topic, still relevant. Except slow down a second time. The update came out and I'm, I'm like, I'm not feeling a difference. It feels the same. It's the same game. And, and apparently it was like about some kind of auto calibration issue. And I, I'm like racking my brain. What is, what has changed? And then I realize I've been playing the game wrong the entire time. I mean, wrong, maybe the wrong word, but like effectively wrong. Now, I wasn't the only one who did that like steering wheel shit, but apparently the original intention was that you hold it kind of flat. Like, I don't, there's no like nice metaphor for that. And you tilt it around to move 
the triangle around the circle. That's why the issue was calibration. People didn't want to have to hunch over their phones like some kind of big idiot on the bus. Now I think my way uh, is better, more fun, more interesting, more subversive, uh, but it, it's bad and it doesn't work well and it's not intuitive. So I don't know what to make of any of this. The game is good, to be clear. Like, there's a lot there. I really haven't gotten very far into seeing the different mechanics, like like literal mechanics of movement, and it encourages you to keep trying again and again. It doesn't really get old. And because of that, I was more willing to accept aesthetic touches that I might have been more jaded towards otherwise. Like the arcade stuff I was talking about. It really pulls off the, like, kind of fun, you know, it's the 80s, but it's not type of thing. And more importantly, I think it's it's 99 cents. I used to like get really sick of the it costs less than a cup of coffee comparison that a lot of like game journalists use for cheap indie games. Um, but I started drinking coffee recently and like I get it now. See this 7-Eleven coffee I got today? I resent that 7-Eleven is becoming a mo motif in my videos, but this, this was 99 cents. So like I'm not saying that I'll never do a review again, because I do think it's an interesting thing to do sometimes, but it's not fulfilling to me. I need to like bring in all this other shit for it to be interesting for me and for me to think it's worth sharing. I think I'm getting a little too out there. This this is the second video in a row that I've made that has been about making videos. What I'm saying is, this shit's hard. Bear with me. More things are coming. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, and like, honestly, thanks so much to Owen Dennis for giving me your review code for this. I, I'm sorry I didn't actually talk about your game that much, but this has been, this has been a joy.